Welcome to Tabletop Gaming Guild. Tabletop Gaming Guild is all about the experiences and memories that playing games with friends and families can create. Today we'll be looking at Cruise of Eridanus, designed by Stedman Watson and published by Dakota Ridge Games. Cruise of Eridanus is a sandbox game in the ilk of Firefly and Zaya. This game is coming to Kickstarter, but bear in mind this is a prototype copy, so a lot of the components and rules will change. Because it's a Kickstarter and the rules are subject to change, I won't go too in-depth into the rules, but let's go to the table. A gate has been destroyed, and this gate is your main point of transport and trade to other systems, crippling your system, and pirates have arose. This being a sandbox game, you have many ways of earning money and many paths to victory. This is borne out in the multiple endgame states. So you can trade the endgame in multiple ways, one of them being discovering the secret base, and at that base planting a virus that disables a malevolent AI, or you can board the mothership and plant a virus that way and disable the mothership. Alternatively, you could just simply destroy that mothership. There's also a secret path to victory you may discover as you play the game. You'll be exploring this map. However, during setup, you're not gonna know where things are. You'll have a rough idea, but you have to decide where your ship goes before all the other components such as pirates and shipwrecks and so forth are placed on the board. Most of these components are placed by yourself and your opponents in turn order, so you can kind of manipulate reality to suit your needs. Cruiser readiness being a space game, it means you're going to be starting with a spaceship. So each player will have their Corvette, and their Corvette has health, color, uh, capacity for passengers or cargo, capacity for AI crew and biological crew, as well as capacity to carry supplies. You may get abilities that allow you to alter these stats, but for the most part you'll be working with these limits. Each character will also have a captain and a cadet they will start with that have their own little unique ability that gives you a slight variance from the other player. That is a meta concept of the game and there are many possible actions you can take. You can move, stack, attack, heal, or repair are the basic actions. Or depending on your location, you may have specific location-based actions you can take as well. Moving is pretty straightforward. Stacking means if you're at the same space as another player, you can actually team up with that other player. I'll talk a little bit about combat, but I don't want to get too deep into it. Healing and repairing, you, you know, heal your crew, repair your ship, and you'll need supplies for some of those actions. So those actions can be used for several things. You can go to stations and pick up crew members or equipment. Stations also allow you to start pick up and delivery missions of passengers or cargo. You can go to asteroids and mine for supplies. You can go explore wrecks and get discoveries. Or you can check out anomalies to see if you can find the secret base. There's a number of cool little spaces on the board that give you extra actions you can take, such as the boost that gives you extra movement. And there's also hazards, such as the asteroids and solar flares near the suns. Bear in mind that many of the actions you take can trigger events, such as this mining card. It tells you to draw an event after you get your supplies. And events have several types. There are global events that immediately happen to everybody. There's personal events that happen specifically to you. And there's many events that are triggered based on specific situations. Combat is done by these combat cards. And you'll be playing cards and using the pattern to determine if you're hit. It'll also tell you what cards you are vulnerable and will be hit by if your opponent plays them. So you want to plan out the cards you want to use, but also try to anticipate what your opponent, who's Jaegering the pirate, is going to play. The length of the game is set at the beginning of the game based on the decisions of the player. So you can set it as a normal length game at 12 turns, a moderate length game at 15, or a long game at 20. I would highly suggest the 12 turn game. The last thing to be aware of is triggering the end of the game doesn't necessarily mean you win. You may want to actually work together to destroy the big enemy, but whoever has the most victory points still wins. So that's the crew of Eridanus. 
So I've mentioned some similarities to Firefly. And I, as I play the game, I definitely see that as very strong. Like Firefly, you have multiple stations you can visit, each with its own supply of unique crew members and goods you can get. It also has a minor pickup and delivery aspect, as well as many various paths to accomplish your goals, many ways of making money, many ways of actually ending the game. But one of the big differences is the set game length. It sticks pretty strongly to about two hours. You are incentivized to move quickly by the limited number of turns before the mothership comes out. And once a mothership comes out, it only has to reach a any station and to end the game with all players losing. I personally love sandbox games, and I think this is a very good one. One downside I've noticed is it does seem to be heavily weighted to points through combat. There don't seem to be many points in any of the other paths to victory. However, do bear in mind that I have not personally discovered what the secret mission or secret path to victory is. So that could really turn it on its head. And again, this is a prototype. So many of the elements of this game are not final yet. I love having a wide range of options. I particularly like going to the wrecks and unveiling these various discovery cards and finding out who I've rescued or what I've discovered at these locations. Like any good sandbox game, this is a game that really does cater to many different play styles. And whether you like pickup delivery or exploration or combat, it has something for you. So I definitely say check this project out. Hope you enjoy it. Well, thank you for watching. Please join us again for more reviews, playthroughs, unboxing, and other content. You can check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, various podcast apps, and many other social media.